Hi, this is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. I got a bone to pick with the body of Christ, y'all. Okay, listen to this. This is something I see a lot of adults do. And sometimes it's a little on the nauseating side, even though I know they're not aware of what they're doing. And they remind me of little kids trying to outdo, outshine, outshout, outplay their counterparts so that they can get a pat on the head, a big hug, or a hallelujah from their parents or the people who are watching. All right, there's an old song that reminds me of. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yeah. So we do this with God and we don't realize it. And worst of all, we do it with each other. All right. Listen to this. Jesus admonishes us to avoid doing that in all phases. Here we go. This is Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 1. And then we will go down to verse 8. All right. And then after that, we'll skip down. Okay. If I feel led to. But for right now, we're going to read those eight verses. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no... No, may I repeat, no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when ye doest, when thou doest thine arms, do not sound a trumpet thump, da, 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 before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. In other words, when you walk around talking about, I fed the poor. I gave money to sister so-and-so. I gave a big offering to this. I paid somebody at the grocery store. I did all of this and did all of that. Look at me. Ain't I wonderful? Guess what? That's your reward. It's called having your ego stroked by men. Oh, isn't that wonderful? All right. Now let's go to verse three. But when thou doest thine alms, let me read that again. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Verse 4, that thine alms may be in secret. Hello, did you hear that? Secret. And thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Verse 5, and when thou prayest, Thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Mm -hmm. Now, verse 6. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetition as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speech. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> All right. I hope you learned something from that. <clears throat> no, I'm not done because, you know, I got to add Pat's two cents to this. But, you know, one of the things that gets me is how much we sound the trumpet and announce every good deed we do. Wow. You know, there are people, they will go to church looking all somber and tired. And, oh, I'm so worn out. Oh, what's wrong, Sister Appleseed? Oh, I'm just tired. You know, you know how fasting can get to you. And I've been fasting for 15 days and oh, the Lord has been my strength. Oh, somebody pull out the violin. I'm about to gag, aren't you? All right. Now, moving right along, we don't realize that what we're doing is laying up treasures for ourselves right here on earth that feed our 
ego. And our ego is like the vending machine. Feed me, cha-ching. Feed me, cha-ching. Feed me, cha-ching. And the whole time your head's getting bigger, but your spirit is not. So you have a great ego fest, but your spirit is lean. God says he will bring leanness to your soul. All right, I'm going to read verse 20 because this is what we do. Verse 19 and 20. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. You see, verse 21, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. We don't realize how much we, how much store we put into what other people think of us. We put so much store into other people knowing what we just did for Brother Banana Head. We put so much store into making sure that Sister So and So heard what I did for the lady across the street last week. I did a sacrificial offering of my time and my talent to help this poor old lady in distress. Oh, let me tell you what I did. Oh, it felt so good. Oh, it's better to give than to receive. And we, we sound this melodramatic, self-aggrandizing violin. I mean, you talk about sounding a trumpet. I have relatives that do that. I know I know people that do that. If they do something nice for somebody, trust me, everybody's going to hear about it because that is their reward. It's sad, but the joy is in doing it. But for a lot of people, it's not in the doing. It's in making sure that everybody's in the knowing. <laughs> That's called pride, y'all, in case any of you missed that. All right, now, here we go. What I want to share with you, if you, it's one thing to do something as a testimony to help somebody understand why they should do this or why they should do the other. But one thing is good to do. And see, God knows when you're saying something for the sake of looking good, or if you're saying something or using it as a teaching tool for the sake of opening someone's eyes as to what you want us to do and why. The motive is the biggest thing behind what you do and what you say. That's what you have to think about. Every time you get ready to tell somebody, I won five people to the Lord. What are you doing it for? Why are you telling them that? What's the real, come on, think, sit down, close your eyes, dig deep, y'all. And I ain't talking about pulling out that money. I'm talking about pulling out the truth. Yeah, dig deep. Why did you have to tell everybody how many people you won to the Lord? Are you scratching notches in your belt like men do when they score with women and how many women they scored with that week? Why are you announcing this to the world? Why must everyone know how long you pray when you enter your closet? Oh, I was with the Lord three hours, all oh, glory. Oh, it's a good thing to be in the presence of the Lord. Well, let me ask you something. Why did I have to hear how long? Now, it's, it's nothing wrong in saying it. What I'm asking you is why are you saying it? Because it's in the whys where most of our hidden sins are. You realize that? It's in the whys and the wherefores that our pride comes out from the surface and it rears its ugly head in the whys. Why are we saying this? Why are we rehearsing what we do for the Lord? Why are we bragging on this, that, or the other? Why? Why? Why must everybody know what you did for the landlady? Why must everybody know how nice you were to the lady at the grocery store? Why? Why must you tell it? Now, if you're saying it because, listen, listen, listen. If you're saying it because you struggled to do something and the Lord laid it on your heart 
And this is a teaching tool about sacrificial giving. Being obedient to God instant in season and instant out of season. In other words, when your pocket is hurting, but you see somebody has a bigger need than you and you let lay your need aside and prefer them over yours. And God teaches you that in doing that from love, not from being seen, but from real love, that God being love himself will bless and reward you. And when you see the reward that God blesses you with, you want to let other people know God doesn't leave you hanging. When you sacrifice for other people, God covers you. When you take care of his kingdom, his people, his business, he will handle your business, baby. Yeah. So that's a teaching tool. But if you are telling it for the sake of being seen so that everybody can see what a wonderful, marvelous saint of God you are, pack it up, baby. Go take a walk. Because God ain't in that. That's nothing but flesh. So that's why I ask you dig deep. Because you got to dig underneath all the lies that you tell yourself. And ask yourself, why do I really want everybody to know what I just did? Why am I really telling this story? What's behind it? What's the motive, y'all? God will help you see it. Even if you're not sure. Because there are times God will tell you stuff that will shock you. But once he tells you, your eyes will open you and you will see it for what it is. And it will bring tears to your eyes because you will not like what you see. But the blessing in it is once you confess that thing and agree with the Lord, you're forgiven and God can remove it from you. But keep asking. All right? All right. I'm not going to talk long. And that's just been on my heart. I see the saints a lot of times do that. Uh, somebody might get up and talk about, oh, it's so good to praise the Lord. Do y'all bless the Lord? Does he ever hear you praise you? Now, all the time that he's talking, ain't nobody saying that. But when he says that, now everybody comes out of the closet. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. And you know what? Sometimes, not all the time. And I know that. But Sometimes, some of the saints that do that on command, it sounds so contrived because it's not so much that they're praising God because it's a spontaneous knee-jerk reaction out of your love and gratitude, but it is a knee-jerk reaction out of not wanting to be seen in a bad light with a human being. <laughs> okay. Ah, all right. See... It's the little foxes that spoil the vine. Pride, fear of man, putting too much store, the treasures on earth, in what other people think of you and say about you. When it doesn't matter what they think and say, it matters what God knows about you. I just wanted to put that little seedling in your head so you can dig deep. And ask the Lord to help you see whatever is in you. Lord, show me what is in me that is insincere. Show me what's in me that is manipulative. Show me what is in me that is full of pride. In the name of Jesus. And cleanse me from all hidden and presumptuous sins. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.